and welcome back to a new video. Today is going to be an unhaul. I've got this whole stack here. I do actually have two piles of these that I need to get rid of, but I think I'll split it up over two videos um, just so it's not mega mega long. And it is really hot up here again today, so um, I suppose so I don't have to make the video super super long in one sitting. Uh, but there's still a lot to talk about here. So these movies here, a few of these were ones I'd gone through this section before and then I'd kept them. And then going through them again, I know now pretty much where I'm moving to. And I don't have super long now to get all my stuff ready. So I don't have a massive amount of space for movies, so I am having to really cut down. So some of these, you know, I'm just like, right, yeah, I'll get rid of them. And then I have been putting some into big, like, wallets. Um, which I'll do another video about as well. But these are ones that I've decided are going to go and they're going to be unhauled. So the first one we have is Layer Cake with Daniel Craig. Um, I haven't seen this. I asked Josh, he, we went through them together, I said, have you seen this? Did you like it? What did you think of it? He said he's seen it, it was okay, um, but it was nothing that he would overly recommend. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't necessarily take his opinion as the sole thing. If there's anything you see in here that you think is a must-watch that I haven't seen, definitely let me know down in the comments below because they won't be um, actually, they'll go in an unhaul bag, I've got like a bag where I put the unhauls and then they don't actually leave the bag until like usually like a week or so until I get around to clearing it out once the bag's full. Anyway, so that's the layer cake. The next one is The Kid. Now you know I'm not too sure what this is about. I looked at the back, I thought hmm, it kind of looks like a weird little lifetime movie. I don't know, it's based on a book here, number one best selling book, but again I you know, wasn't overly sure what it was about, it wasn't something that completely jumped out at me, I haven't seen it but again I do have to get rid of um, quite a few things so I was just like okay I'll get rid of this one. Next we've got Open House, another one I haven't seen, I just thought mm, this is probably just going to be a cheesy type of horror kind of movie, not super interested by it so I'm just going to get rid of it. I feel like in this video I'm definitely going to end up keeping some that I was going to get rid of. Um, but yeah, I watched another film called Open House, which was on Netflix, which had Clay from 30 Reasons Why in, and that was just okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about this one, to be honest. Next is Step Up to the Streets. I'm not a huge fan of the Step Up movie, so I'm not too sad to unhaul this one. I don't know if I've seen that one. I think I probably have. Next, we've got Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Uh, now, this has got Steve Martin and Michael Caine in, but I just don't think... I just don't think I'll ever watch it. If you guys think I should watch this one, let me know, because I, I have been keeping discs. I've now got uh, 300 that are just discs, so that's kind of crazy. Um, so, you know, it's not going to take up a lot of space to keep any of these discs, but it's just, I'm just not sure whether I'll watch it, whether I'll enjoy it. But, you know, you guys let me know, because I can always take the discs out of these and it not really be a big deal and not take up much space, because it's just a disc. Uh, so, yeah, that's that one. Next we've got Weekend at Bernie's. Again, I haven't seen this, but I just thought, you know, I just don't think I'll end up watching it. Um, you know, obviously I've heard of this, I've heard of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, and so I picked them up because I knew they were, you know, kind of classic movies, but I just haven't seen them. Next we have Magic in the Water. This just looks like a really cheesy, weird kind of movie. It's a family movie, but it looks kind of weird. Maybe kind of low budget, so I was just like, yep, yeah, I'll get rid of that one. But again, haven't seen it. Next we've got Derailed. This was okay. It's got Clive Owen, Jennifer Aniston. I do really like Jennifer Aniston, but it was only an okay one. I enjoyed it for the most part, but I didn't love it. Next we have got Left Behind with Nicolas Cage. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of Nicolas Cage, and this is like a plane crash type of movie. Well, I, I feel like people have said it isn't, but on the front, like, I'm not really into plane crash movies, so I feel like I just won't get around to this one. And again, Nicolas Cage, so I'm just not sure. Next we've got um, uh, Serena, Serena, Serena. I started watching this and I found it really kind of slow going and quite boring so I just wasn't enjoying it. It is Jennifer Lawrence but I just wasn't super into it. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. This next one isn't quite what you think. So it's Bridget Jones' Diary. I actually remember now, I'll put it here. I'm going to give my mum this one. I've got it on Blu-ray so I don't need the DVD. But I'm sure my mum will want the DVD, so I'm going to pass this along to her. But she always looks through the unhaul piles anyway, uh, to check if there's anything she wants to watch. So I know she'll come across this. Um, but yeah, I'm sure she'll keep that. I love Bridget Jones. Next is Killer Joe. This has Matthew McConaughey in. And I just... I don't know. 
I just didn't ever think, it never really jumped out at me. So a lot of these I have because I picked them up at car boots and things, so I just, you know, they were really cheap, so it was worth picking up if you knew someone in the film. Um, but yeah, I just don't think I'll get around to this one. You know, a lot of these I'm like, oh, I should just put the disc in the thing in case I get around to it, but then I'll have so many discs, I don't know. If you guys see a future video and some of the discs are in the thing, then you'll know what happened. Uh, this one it has got Anne Hathaway in, but I never really massively enjoyed it. It's Passengers. Um, I think it was okay. Again, it's a plain movie. Not super into plain movies, so there you go. Uh, next, we've got Thunderpants. This just looks overly silly and stupid. But isn't that um, Ron Weasley? What's his actual real name? Rupert Grint. Look at him. Oh, I didn't realise it was him. No, I feel like I want to just watch it anyway. That's what happens when you do the unhauls. Next we've got My Brother the Pig. This has actually Scarlett Johansson in, which is the reason why I picked it up. Oh, I feel like now I want to watch this. See, this is the problem. This doesn't even look like a good movie. Does this look like a good movie? No. The back looks cute. It looks like family fun. I mean, this is the tiniest case ever. I'll probably just put the disc actually of this. I don't know. I don't know. It's just terrible. I'm terrible at getting rid of movies, but I have been doing a good job. I have been trying my best, so... It's, it's a tricky one, but I, c I just can't wait to show you my um, cases with the discs in. I'm thinking that it wouldn't matter to keep as many discs, you know, because they take up so little space. Does it really matter? Should I keep more discs? I don't know. I suppose also the argument of the fact that will I ever get round to the movies? You know, there's so many movies out there and there's always new movies coming out. It's just, it's a tricky one. Next, again, this isn't a movie that I'm getting rid of. This is Scarface. I'm not getting rid of Scarface. Josh owns a nice kind of collector's copy of this film so you know obviously we're moving in together so we're not going to have two of them uh, so I'm getting rid of this one. Next we have Dick Tracy. Now I haven't seen this but I don't know much about it and so I was like yeah okay I'll get rid of it. I really really don't know. So again if you guys know anything about it let me know. Uh, I, I can always keep some of these discs if you if there's any that you think yeah you should definitely keep that bar the ones that we've got multiple copies of let me know. 28 days later, Josh has got the box set of them all, so again, get rid of that. This one, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, again, Josh owns his exact DVD, so we'll just get rid of this one. Um, Mirrors 2, I haven't seen. I've seen Mirrors, this is very dusty, like my hand just got really dusty. Um, but I haven't seen this one. I don't really have too much interest to see this one, so I'm going to get rid of it. Next we've got The Hitcher. I don't know if I've seen this or not. But either way, I wasn't too interested to do so. So there we go. Angels and Demons. Not a massive fan, but Josh owns the box set of the first and the second one. We own Inferno on Blu-ray, so we don't need multiples. Um, next we've got The Unborn. I actually remember this being quite creepy. It came out years ago. I like the uh, slipcover, but I'm not really interested to watch it again. Horror really isn't my favourite genre. There's a few horrors that I really love and I think are fantastic but then there's some I watch and I'm like ah, they're not ones I'd watch multiple multiple times. I have my kind of October ones I love but yeah. Next we've got another dusty one which is W.E. Just not super into wanting to watch this one so there we go. Okay next one has Paul Rudd in and it is, oh it's also got Danny DeVito in it. It's the O in Ohio. So I feel like you can kind of see uh, what this film's about from the uh, front cover, but I don't know, now it's got Diane Evie in it as well. I've watched some Paul Rudd movies recently because I do love Paul Rudd and they've just been like, eh, okay, I think I've got another Paul Rudd one in my other Unhaul one, but I'm like, well, I'm not super interested in watching it, so yeah, this is the only reason I picked it up because it's got Paul Rudd in, but I've watched some really mediocre ones of his lately, so I don't know. Next we've got... <laughs> Breaking and Entering with Jude Law. This just looks really kind of boring. I read the back and I was like, nah, doesn't sound too exciting. So there we go. Uh, next we've got Down to Earth with Chris Rock. Um, I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't jump out at me. Um, I don't know. I just decided, yep, yeah, I'll get rid of that one. If it wasn't majorly something, I was like, yeah, I want to watch it. I just decided it would go in the unhaul pile. But again, let me know. Next, we've got Great Expectations with um, Gwyneth Paltrow and Robert De Niro, actually. Okay, the reason I was getting rid of this one is because I really like the newer Great Expectations film. I like the, you know, the black and white one I've obviously seen. And then the newest one with Helen Bonacartrim, I really like that one. So I thought, well, I don't really need to watch this one as well. 
Um, but it has got an interesting cast, and I haven't seen it. But I don't like Ethan Hawke, to be fair. Let me know if you've seen this Great Expectations. Let me know if you like it. Next is Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs. Now, I'm sure... I think this is, again, one that Josh owns, because I can't imagine that he'd be like, yeah, we'll get rid of it. Um, so he must own this one, I'm sure. And mine's like this widescreen one. It's just, I don't know. Uh, and finally... We have again a very dusty fired up. This just is like one of those high school um, like American Pie type of movies. And I just wasn't super interested in it, so I decided to unhaul it. So there we go. Those are all the unhauls. Um, let me know down in the comments below if there is any of these you think I should keep the disc off. I won't actually be keeping any in the box because none of them interest me enough to have um, you know on the shelf in the collection. But I have been keeping discs um, of ones that I'm just kind of in the middle about because. I might still just want to watch them, but I'm not, you know, like this for example, I'm not bothered about having this on my shelf in the box, it really just doesn't bother me, but if I wanted to watch it, I would keep the disc just to watch it. Um, but yes, let me know down in the comments below if there's any of these that you've seen that I think I should keep, bar the duplicates. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will be doing another unhaul soon, uh, and again, I do apologise that the video is all kind of spaced out around, and there probably will be quite a lot of unhauls and things like that, just due to moving and things, and you know, I'll show you the cases that I've got with the discs in and I'll go through the collection I've put in there as well. Um, but yeah until then I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!